first ever trip to Disneyland and I did Disneyland first because I ended up going to the California Adventure Park the next day. So this is that story of my first time at the California Adventure. So um, we got home from Disneyland. It was like 11.30 to open. Everyone like knocked out like that and it was super tiring. I had to get up six and a half hours later and we got up for a California Adventure and I was so, so so 
showed her the receipt and I was like, look, I, I'm missing this right here. And they look at me and they go, we saw her put everything on the plate, man. There's nothing else we can do about it. And I was like, what? I was like, dude, I'm missing a water bottle, but you can clearly see it here. I, if you want to go look at my table, I'll show you. I'm only, I only have one kid's water bottle and one's adult water bottle. I do not have another one. Like, it's missing. And so then they finally caved in like four minutes later after they talked to each other and they were like, okay, give them a water bottle. And I was like, damn, bro. Like, are you serious? Like, it's just a water bottle. Like, I understand you guys don't want you guys to lose your jobs or anything, but you could slide a water bottle if you guys sell them for like $8 anyway, so I kind of want my water. After that, we all ate, and I was, I was a little bit annoyed, but then I was like, I really, and then um, my girlfriend and her family went and got some churros and stuff. And so we walked through the California Adventure, and we went back towards, oh, the Adventure Campus. We went back to the Adventure Campus. And that was really cool. Um, There's a lot of cool stuff happening over there, and I really wanted to go on a Spider-Man ride, but I couldn't because it was like a 60-minute wait for everything, and like I didn't want to leave my my daughter with her grandma for that long and just have her just like struggle with her because you know she's a two-year-old, she's gonna want to get up and run around and jump and you know get into this and that and grab this and grab that and run around and jump around and she's not gonna want to sit still. And I was like, that's a lot to put on someone, you know? Like it's my she's my daughter, I can take care of her, so. I was like, when she naps, we'll go on some rides and stuff, and then we can hopefully, you know, say a couple rides there. So we went through Adventure Campus, and there was, um, I went to, like, this big, big Marvel shop. It was absolutely gigantic, and it was so, so cold. It was unbelievable. The, uh, there was so much stuff in there, and there was this little spider robot that you could control, and I was like, I kind of wanted to buy it, but it was like 80 bucks, and I was like, oh, I might not gonna use it it's just i'm just gonna buy it it's gonna sit in my room somewhere and i don't have a lot of room and, and you're ready to buy more stuff you know and so i was like oh man i don't want to but i don't and then i just ended up not buying it and it was like 80 bucks so i was like it's fine you know i'll just i'll just wait on it so we got that and then we went through we're looking at all the stuff and there was some there was a, a spider-man sweater that i thought looked really cool and i got like all the of them like in black and white like from different panels but then it had this weird coloration like it was white like on this left corner then it was red over here and then it was this fat blue color and i was like bro what is this like why does it look so weird i can't i couldn't do it so i, I, I didn't get that either but i wanted to now my daughter fell asleep over we doing this so we were like let's go find some rides we can go on like while she's sleeping so while she was sleeping we went on um where do we go we went there's this one that was like rockets i forgot what it was called it was a, it only like a 20 minute wait it was like rockets that just go up really slow yeah they just spin around in a circle i'm not a big fan of stuff like that i can't stand the swings that spin really fast and like you're just hanging on by the swing like it, i'm afraid of heights so i can't really do stuff like that which i know it sucks but it's whatever so after that, we decided to go take a look around, and we went towards the other side, where the Ferris wheel is, the Mickey Mouse Ferris wheel. And we're like, hey, let's go see if we can do that, because it said it only had a 25 minute wait on the, um, on the swinging side, the other side that swings. Because on some of the, so on the big Ferris wheel, there are some seats, like, everywhere. Like, every like, two, every two regular, there's one that's different, and it swings back and forth, and it'll slam like and it'll slam like that and it'll just make you like sit in there and it probably feels like you're gonna fall out so it said there's only a 25 minute wait on there on the app and we went in line and they announced like hey from this point on if you're gonna go to the swinging lines it's going to be a 55 minute wait it's only a 15 on the other side if you want to go to the other side and we're like oh well, we don't want to do the swinging so we go we'll just come back later well, you know whatever so I think at this point <laughs> like it, th it was only two o'clock three o'clock and then we were looking at the Incredicoaster and that had a huge wait I mean everyone really wanted to do the Incredicoaster uh, and my, uh, I wanted to my girlfriend and her little brother wanted to go on too and so we um we were looking at it and we're like it's 60 it's gonna be it's always gonna be 60 minute plus and my daughter was going to wake up soon so we just got decided just to like chill and then we, um, I was like, okay, uh, my girlfriend was like, can we 
just buy the lightning lane like you can just buy it and then you can just skip ahead like you'll be in them like five minutes and so i bought everyone's lightning lane the three of us and it was 25 dollars for a person so i spent 75 bucks to go on this ride and i was honestly fine like i did want to go on it honestly and i i don't want to wait in line so i just bought the lightning lane and you can only use that like every like it's kind of weird if i do it and so i bought it and so i think it like it was like at three something or four something it's gonna be ready so you can go on it and stuff and then you can um you can go so we chilled for like another hour or two we just kind of sat around i got some popcorn i got some water i sat down and then um we kind of walked around and i was so tired i just wanted to sit like i was dead from being there so long and just you know walking around and i did want to buy some more stuff and um when you go on the boardwalk to go up towards like the other side um there's this cool little like there's a couple little shops that have like these movie posters that you can buy and like huge canvases and you can like put in your room and i was like oh those looks really cool let me see how much it is and i looked at it and it was like 500 bucks for like a huge fighting name poster like a huge one and i was like this is not worth it at all i do not want this for 500 dollars but it gets delivered to your house and stuff too so i did that and i wanted to try the abominable the abominable snowman snow cones but the line was absolutely gigantic and i think the mobile orders were like filled out so you couldn't do it so and getting popcorn i went to a few different shops and then my while we were waiting we um my daughter got to see the happy the happy emotion from the movie inside out and the sad emotion and she was having such a fun time she was like jumping up and down she was like waving at him trying to get their attention and it was so much fun and then uh my daughter loves buzz lightyear and woody and buzz were over there on the boardwalk too but we went over there to go take pictures and unfortunately they stopped doing pictures like for the day because they're gonna close early for the halloween event for the trick-or-treat night right so we didn't get tickets for that unfortunately we didn't so um you know we um it was time to go on the ride and i get really really bad i guess it's anxiety i guess i don't know if it's an epic anxiety or if I'm, I'm just super scared but on the anchor coaster i was looking at it and i was like i'm my heart was racing like when i get really 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 like nervous about something like, i start to yawn like that i got a yawn <laughs> and my heart rate that day right before we went on the ride it beat at 160 beats per minute it was pounding out of my chest i was terrified <laughs> and so we went on the credit coaster and it and it was like you're chasing jack jack like that's what the theme is of the, of the credit coaster as you know you hear the side you hear all the speakers and stuff going on and so i was like oh this is really cool you know like i really like this stuff and I, um, I wanted to do something, like, fun, like, this was, like, awesome, I absolutely loved this, it was amazing, I did like the ride a lot, they had a lot of twists and turns, and I was just, like, fighting for my life, and when I got out, I was like, that was fun, like, I really enjoyed that, I would love to go on it again, but the line was, like, at, like, a 120 minute wait, it's like, okay, that's enough, so then for the last hour and a half, we went down to the shops where they have the, um, Oh, what's that guy from Inside Out? What's his name? Oh my god, he's, he's the imaginary toy. Or the imaginary guy. Oh my, I can't remember him. He's like an elephant mixed with like three different animals. Anyway, we went in there and we got to see, we got to like get some, we got some candy out of there, like some treats and stuff. And my girlfriend got a little Disneyland bag, like, like the little backpacks that you put in your back. She got one of those. And that was good. We, could, we were done with that, like, we were done, because the park was going to close, it closed at 5.30 that day, because of the Halloween event, uh, for the trick-or-treat night, I'm sorry, and, um, on the trick-or-treat night, they have all the different, um, like, villains from each of the movies, and they sit outside certain shops, and they give out candy, so we decided that it was time to leave, because it was closing in on the time, and then it started raining, like, at first, it was, like, a little bit of a sprinkle, but I was, like, oh, my God, it's going to pick up, isn't it? And then it started, like, kind of going. And I was, like, okay, let's get out of here right now. Let's just go home. Yeah, let's go and let's get out of here. Let's eat and let's go home. And so we left the Disneyland Park. We were leaving, and we went through a couple more shops. Nothing there I really liked a lot, and I didn't want to do 
dollars except for that one person and it was still like 125 bucks and i was like okay bro this this is a little bit of a rip off but you know it was okay for it wasn't really authentic mexican food it was definitely trying to upsell you on the fact that you're not eating disneyland food anymore and it's a warm meal so it was okay i'll give it a 7 out of 10 the food was good the pricing could be a little bit better anyway like the sat down for a little bit and we chilled inside there and we got everything ready to go to bed and we probably organized all of our stuff to be ready for the next morning to leave and um yeah so that was my day at the disneyland adventure park i, I had a great time you know everything i love the way everything was um decorated for halloween it was um, so much fun i really did enjoy it and you know for my first time there i think it was great um i definitely want to go back one day with just my girlfriend and I so we can go on like so many different rides all day I just want to go on rides you know and like bring our own food so we don't have to worry about buying it we just eat whatever we want and stuff anyway thank you guys so much I truly appreciate everyone who watched this video and I hope you were able to get some sleep in and besides that thank you guys so much